Indiana University will begin a search for a full-time chancellor to lead its Bloomington campus, a role that will effectively reduce IU President Pamela Witten's direct administrative capacity as the primary leader of the flagship university. The motion to create a chancellor position came up in the final minutes of the IU Board of Trustees meeting, after trustees readjourned to a different room following student protests against Witten and IU's support of the Crane Naval Surface Warfare Center and State of Israel. The motion to create the chancellor position was approved unanimously by all nine members with little discussion beforehand. In a written statement, Witten said the incoming chancellor would focus on working together with the campus community to foster increased faculty participation in campus decision-making. The Bloomington Chancellor will report to President Witten and oversee the office of Provost Rahul Srivastav, according to Witten's statement. Every other IU campus, from Indianapolis to all regionals, are well served by both a Chancellor and an Academic Affairs Vice-Chancellor, Witten said in her statement. As the university's flagship campus, Bloomington deserves this same level of resource and attention. Witten's remarks during the meeting and subsequent statement are among her most direct responses to growing student and faculty unrest. In her statement, Witten suggested the need for greater shared governance, a central concept in the widespread disapproval of Witten's administration from IUB faculty, was a key reason why Bloomington needed its own chancellor. This leader for the Bloomington campus will focus on working together with the campus community to foster increased faculty participation in campus decision-making, Witten's statement read. The new chancellor and I will work closely together to advance opportunities for richer engagement between myself and members of the IU Bloomington community. Witten said she and the trustees will work with the Bloomington Faculty Council, BFC, a 72-member elected body of Bloomington professors and librarians designed to exercise faculty authority to establish a search committee for the new chancellor. In addition to participating in Bloomington community relations responsibilities, the new chancellor will also oversee DI efforts, student life, and campus finances, Witten's statement read. In the end, the chancellor's impact will be felt in stronger relationships, a more harmonious campus, and successful attainment of the IU 2030 strategic plan. Witten also announced an immediate search for a faculty fellow to serve in the president's office. The fellow will help Witten and her cabinet ensure the principles of shared governance are embraced and maintained. According to the statement, the fellow will achieve this by cultivating relationships with faculty leadership across all campuses and creating organizational opportunities to effectively accomplish the university's goals and objectives, Witten's statement read. I sincerely believe that these two vital additions will begin the process of unlocking the unlimited potential of our campus and securing its flagship status. When asked about the timeline for installing a new chancellor for Bloomington's campus, Chair Quinn Buckner replied only, I think that's a fair question. No further details on a timeline were discussed, and no other questions about the chancellor were asked before the vote. The BFC, which will head the search committee, is currently in the midst of an annual leadership transition, with current faculty president Colin Johnson of the Gender Studies program leaving the position on June 30th. Danielle DeSalle, a clinical professor in the School of Education, will assume the position for the 2024 to 2025 academic year. The vote on the chancellor came after a tumultuous final hour of the trustees meeting, with protesters standing up and shouting over Witten during her remarks. Protesters were escorted out by security almost immediately. In her statement, Witten said she has requested an independent review of the events in Dunmeadow by the Cooley Law Firm an American international law firm based out of Palo Alto, California. A timeline for the review was not discussed. During the faculty report by the chairs of the University Faculty Council, BFC President and UFC co-chair Colin Johnson spoke openly about faculty dissatisfaction with the Witten administration. Johnson pleaded with Witten and the trustees to be more pragmatic and receptive to faculty input following a tumultuous year that culminated in votes of no confidence in the incidents at Dunmeadow. Something about the way IU is being managed has got to change if we are to move forward in a positive direction, Johnson said. Continuing down our current path is not an option. 